we were uh, trying to report a plan. Today as we were uh, trying to mainly snakes or uh, like that. Hi viewers, this is Unbiased. Today as we were uh, trying to report a plant, there is a rose right here and uh, later evening, we found out that in a pot in our house there are some eggs that you see. We can say these are some reptiles, mainly snakes or and the sphinx eggs as it. now these are some eggs and we think these eggs belong to a snake as they are rubbery and most of the snake eggs are rubbery but we don't know what species it is as we only found them and now we are going to keep them in a box to incubate them and uh, here is the box these were actually not made for this purpose so this is the box where we are going to keep the eggs this egg actually rolled up so it's separate. Now we are going to keep that. And now actually uh, we should never ever like take an egg if we don't know what species it is. Out like just like that. We should only take it like we should not move it like left right. This is why we have marked it as you can see there are some lines in it. Those are marker lines. Now we are going to excavate the egg. I'm using a tweezer for this as the eggs are so packed near tight. Now that they have finished excavating the eggs, uh, now as you see, there are uh, correctly in the number of 9 eggs. As you see, I just took the eggs how they were and I kept them. I did not keep them uniformly like in the same side and uh, the black marks are marked. And now you can see this is a regular marker size, a permanent marker near the egg. I am keeping it, this is the marker scab. For your reference. These are uh, the eggs that are hatched. You can see there are 8 eggs hatched. As we collected these eggs before 9 days. They are, they are very small. And uh, we think that we should leave them out. As they are needing food. As you can see they are so slim. And they are trying to escape out. Now uh, it has roughly been 9 days since we have hatched and now we are going to release them. These are oriental garden lizards. They are found widely spread in the plains of the southern India and also found in some parts of the southern India. Now we are going to leave them in this bucket. Then we will now leave them. The bucket is for them not to run away as there is the road near our house and the vehicles are going there. They have, they have started to come out. Don't worry, they can swim very nicely. See, as you see now, there are totally 8 of them. And now we are going to start releasing them in a little bit. and they are so cute no? now we are going to release here who we are going to release here And this is the other one now. We are going to release him down here. As there is a lot of cover for the lizard now. And now it's trying to climb up the plant where we left this sibling. And we are now going 
going to release other two in a different location away from them now uh, actually you should release them in a place full of mosquitoes as their main diet as they are so small is the mosquitoes and this is a jade plant and uh, mosquitoes really like to hang out uh, where there is not much of leaf vegetation and the leaf is big so that they have the shade so we are leaving them here now we are about to leave the fourth one in the bottom now we are going to release one in another place This is the place where we mostly see these lizards, so we are going to release them here. They are actually not interested to go. Now we are going to release him in this uh, money plant type uh, one here. As you can see, it's climbing up now. Now we are going to do the sixth one as well. As I can see, a small bug here. I think it's, it may be a great feeding spot for it. And I'll leave it in the top of the plant. Last one, and now we are going to release him in the big father's plant. <laughs> 